Hello everyone and welcome to my fifth tutorial on unit the networking. So we left off where uh, because we were able to create our server and uh, show all the online players. So let me check. So yeah it works. Um let's check. Yeah it works. So Today we are going to create the uh, rooms for the uh, server. So, uh, go to your skills folder and create another one. And this will be uh, the room manager. Okay. So drag this into your main camera and open it and post it again. Okay, so uh, let's create a another DUI, of course. So uh, we won't work again with uh, GUI layouts and stuff like that. We will position the things with our dimensions. So let's create the function and the UI. Um, and let's create a variable that will enable the script. Or not, we don't need that. Go to your new player manager. And let's. Um, on the function start, we will enable the room manager. So get component room manager. Get enable is equal to true. And let's uh, disable by default. And now. Uh, we will position all the room stuff on the right of the screen. So first we need two buttons, one for create the room and the other to get the room list. So uh, let's create a button. button. Direct will be the width, basically the position on x will be screen that width minus, um, let's say that the length, the width of the button will be 150, so minus 150, the height will be 0, the width 150, and let's make it uh, 30 for now. Let's check. Can you start now, sir? Oh, um, no, we need to enable this whenever. Um, or connect to server enable it or on server initialized and let's give it a try again So, design lobby, wait a minute, okay, sorry about that, so continue, start the main server. So as you can see, our button is here, it is, the, its position is on our screen, it depends on the screen now. And let's create the get room list, copy and paste it, and the height will be uh, 
of 30 so it's under the uh, create button create room button and let's rename it to get room list room list room list join continue start and here it is great so now first of all you have to create the script that creates a button the room and then to get the room list so we'll need some variables for this um, first we need to get the uh, the name of its room so let's name it this variable rooms um, thinking. let's name the rooms and this will be a string and this will be basically a string array and the maximum length of the rooms will be 10 rooms for now Oops. rooms equal to new string Oops. 10 so uh, you will see that the size is empty now, for now it's zero. But on the function start, it will be 10. Great. And here are the empty slots for the rooms. So, how is it going to work? First of all, when you press the create button, the create a room button, uh, it will do a four. Uh, loop and we'll check all the um, slots of the rooms array and if it finds basically the first empty uh, slot it will find it will put there the name of the room so yeah you will understand later um, so we'll need again uh, RPC a RPC function so this will be um, get a room name a room name here a name string and we need a room creator string too by the way now uh, we need the username username and this uh, will be sent here get component dot username is equal to username and the same for the server so let's just first uh, send the RPC and check if it works. So let's debug something. Uh, room name plus our name and uh, the creator is plus room creator. As simple as that, and go on your uh, create room button and if he press the button it will not contribute the RPC to this function get room name and we need RPC mode to all buffered again uh, and we have two parameters room name we will add for now test room name and the room creator which is our vision
so I'm just gonna be continuing starting the server. And now, if you press create the room, you can see the room name, test room name, the creator is admin01. Great. So let's build it um, to see if it works for other usernames. And I'm pretty sure that it will work. Okay, so let's test it. Turn lobby, then start my server. And here it will join us. Uh, let me check something. Where are the usernames? Oh my god, yeah. If username is equal to admin2, or if username is equal to admin02. Oh, we don't need that, sorry about that. Okay, so type in a username. New user, for example. What the? It's really lucky. Continue. Join the domain server. And if you press create, you can see that it sends the RPC also here. And the same if you press for the admin 01. So that's it for this tutorial, very simple. So thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe. For any questions, please uh, leave a comment below. See you later.